Hey there, this is Mickey 3193 and this is now uh, we're on part 4 of the Fallout board and there's a bit more work to it I would have preferred to try and do these videos um, so I could set the camera up and actually do the work and show you as I'm doing it rather than this doing a chunk, going back and showing you what I've done but at the moment um, I'm decorating the house and sorting all the other stuff out so I'm kind of coming to it, doing a little bit, going away. And whenever I get a bit of spare time, so I don't actually set a whole pile of time to doing it all at once, to make a video as such. So yeah, like I say, I do just basically come to it, do a bit of work, go away, do whatever else I'm doing. And then whenever I can fit it in, um, continue with working on it. <coughs> uh, but what I've done at the moment is, I forget in the last video if I'd showed you, I built some of the kill team scenery, and there was a couple of, I split one of the barrels and popped it in there, so when the resin's in there, that barrel's going to be sat in the, in the water. Um, and the main main thing is, it's all been finished with the, I used a burnt umber, let me just grab it for you. Okay, from a shop locally near me, um, the works. This is quite a thick paint, it's an acrylic paint. So what I tend to do is, um, stick it in a pot, stick some PVA in with it, and water it down a little bit so it runs better because it's got a real nice it's, it dries quite thick it's quite solid i mean this board now it's had two coats of stuff and um, obviously the pva in that it's it's like a rock this board um i do have a couple of issues under the edges at the moment um like so there it's just coming away a little bit but what i'll do is i'll resin that because then it'll be solid once i've finished only work to it i'll get some resin on it but yeah like as you can see it said um, a couple of coats out underneath um which gave it the the base coat which is something i've, I've always i've always used that one for that i was gonna thinking of trying something different like maybe going straight for a light sand and then use washes um but i've just stuck to this because as i say i want to get it done and uh, i didn't have time to be experimenting messing it up and starting again and then what i've done is i've been through to local Wilkinson's, picked up three little tester pots and I gave it a heavy dry brush first with this colour which is the Chocolate Dream and then the same again with that one, Soft Hessian just to start lightening it a bit more and then the crushed almond on top to lighten it quite a bit um, so as you can see, as I was looking at the moment, I've been back over the road since doing that with the black. So that's my next job, is to start on that, start lightening that off. Get me, I've got a bunch of grey testers, which ones I'm doing it, I will show you. Just got to figure out how I'm doing it yet, whether to use the sponge method or to brush it. I think the sponge might work better, so as not to leave strokes, because it's obviously it's quite smooth. Um, you can see there in that shine i've i've been along and i've grooved it with some cracks as you see a lot of the the highways and stuff do tend to have a crack running straight on the middle down the center line so i've run a, a line right the way down it um <clears throat> so yeah i think it'll probably be a sponge because then that way i'm not going to leave brush marks all over it um because it's not unlike this where it's completely rough and it just picks up all its tops there if it's not been smooth I think it's just going to leave lines everywhere, so a sponge is probably the way to go with it. Then I need to work on these tracks. I might just put some, get some ink on the timber bits you can see, which I'll just darken off what's already there, just to break it from this, because it's not too bad. I mean, if I was doing a, a bit of track on its own, that's probably something similar to what I'd go for. So like I said, I'll just get a bit of wash, because to try and paint all them back now, and redo them as timber, it's going to be a nightmare. Um, I have used a bit of basically dirty water, but I used to the, the burnt umber. And um, we can see it's a bit darker in there. And just put that back on top of it afterwards, just so it'll be a bit darker when the resin goes in. And the other hole over here, I've used some some grit, some Jarvis grit. Um, I, I believe it's might be medium. Um, but, um, Grey grit, grit, and again, 
that's all glued in and it's just had some a wash put on top of it and I just need to do something over here so you can see the, the cliff face I don't know if you can quite make them out on camera but the bark pieces I went quite heavy on the lighter part to try and separate them out <clears throat> but to them what I'll do is again I think I'll just have side and wash to that section just to make that stand out from the rest um, and yeah so at the moment that's where we're up to on it like I said the next thing I'll be working on is getting the road marked up I've ordered some tufts of grass um, I've gone for just some some dead um, dead grass tufts which I'll scatter about but I've also gone for some little purple tufts and some orange ones because yeah, I think it'll look pretty cool with just them little touches of colour scattered about so anyone that's played Fallout they'll know that you find your, I forget what you call them now, but <clears throat> the different herbs and flowers that you find, like the number of fruit and stuff, the tail plants, and all them little harvestable plants you can find scattered around. So I think they'll work pretty well with it. Um, so yeah, at the moment, that's how it's looking. I'm um, sorry if these videos get a bit rambly. Um, but yeah, quite pleased with it so far. Um, I'll leave it there. And I'll say as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and any comments, suggestions are always welcome. Thank you. See you later.